Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do a guide on Big Macs and after 2-3 to three months of learning it, I finally get a grip of what I'm, what is Big Macs about and I'm gonna teach you guys how do you do a long and a short and after that how do you play around with um, leverage on Big Macs and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification and leave the like button if you like this tutorial. If you do not like it, just dislike it and of course I'm new to this. If you have any recommendation or whatsoever, kindly put it down at the comment section down below. If I did a mistake, please uh, guide me through and of course, let's get started. So yeah, so if you do not know what is BMAX, BMAX is basically a platform for you to short and long Bitcoin uh, and after that you can do leveraging which is if you are do, if you do not know the terms and stuff, I'll, uh, let me explain to you. So leveraging is using um, the broker's money, uh, BMAX, BMAX uh, loan you that amount of, um, let's say you are going to short uh, 1000, uh, let's say you're going to do a long on 1000 uh, US dollars. So what is a five times leverage meaning they're gonna loan you a uh, additional four thousand and after that yeah basically you're just using their money and play around with it so the quantity times how many uh leverage and after that from there yeah you can do a long or short um but bear in mind there's risk and after that as you can see there's a risk limit over here for my current position and in the traditional stock market uh how do people get into debts and and many more stuff like in debt or whatsoever. I finally understand. Um, buying stocks uh, doesn't really bring uh, make you in debt. Instead, it is people that is doing leverage is always owing money because you are playing with the money that you do not have and you are borrowing it with um, the broker. Therefore, if your liquidation price is met and yeah, basically once it's uh, met the liquidation price, everything is gone and you are in debt. On the traditional stock market but on bmax do not fear anything because there is no uh, negative balance or whatsoever this is on their terms and yeah basically whatever you deposit in i have deposited a uh, 0.1 bitcoin and after that if i do a hundred times leverage or whatsoever the liquidation price is met um, um below my long or above my short Therefore, my uh, zero point one will just uh, my zero point one Bitcoin will just be gone, and after that, I do not will I will not have a negative balance. So as you can see here, coin market cap Bitcoin um trading pair the volume Bitmax is the highest because it is futures deri uh, derivatives. So I do not know how to pronounce that. So bear in mind, and there's no fee. So as you can see here, no fee type, and yeah, basically, how do you start shorting and longing for Bitcoin because Let's say you have a you you have a grip of the market and you know that the market is going to the bull market, which is going up in prices or whatsoever. You can do a long position and after that profit from there. And after that, let's say if you if Bitcoin reaches like around fifteen thousand and you believe that the price is gonna drop soon, and of course you wanna gamble with it. Uh, yeah, the term is gambling with it, so you can either do a short. Uh, because you believe the price is dropping so you can do a short and from there you can profit off your position once um, it reaches the price value or whatsoever so what I'm going to teach you is how do you do first I'm going to teach you about the calculator which is the most important part about mid bags because this is for you to calculate your profit your loss and your liquidation price therefore bear in mind to listen to this properly so let's say you have uh, $100 to play with and the quantity is this amount over here and I would not recommend like 5 time leverage or what maybe 1 to 3 time leverage for beginners and slowly if you get a grip of it uh, maybe you can do 5 or more the, uh, of course you have to know how to read the market as, as well there's no prediction but of course those normal trading trading views um, whatever it is you call it the Fibonacci uh, the uh, MACD or whatsoever you can set it and after that yeah you can see the correlation or whatsoever but I do not really know how to use that therefore I'm just going to bet the another price like how so I'm gonna teach you not say teach you just gonna uh, show you my strategy 
So first we talk about calculator, so the profit and loss. So let's say you're going for a long, so your pr uh, entry price, uh, the quantity that you're going to buy is $100 worth of Bitcoin. And after that, let's say your entry price is at $3,500. And after that, the exit price, meaning uh, the position that you're going to close at, that means you're going to sell off all your position. And for this, you can put like, let's say you want to make a $100 uh, exit price. So the profit and loss over here, I would suggest you looking at this percentage instead of the ROE because the ROE is far more higher and the true percentage and loss is over here. So if you put in $100, your uh, net percentage uh, profit loss, uh, your profit will be around 2.78% plus minus. And after that, yeah, so basically if you do a well short, it is going to be a loss. And after that, this is just a price calculation that how much you're going to uh, make. And uh, if you do how time, how many times leverage, so time, time leverage, you are definitely going to make uh, much more. Um, Let's say 100 time leverage. So the RE, so yeah, so profit loss 2% is uh, around here. So the RE is for on the leverage. So depending on how much leverage you are putting in. And after that, eventually you're going to see the money come in. Not, not really sure about that, but just a guide. But the first thing that you want to do is the liquidation price. So let's say you have a quantity of, uh, you want to buy $100 worth of uh, position. And after that, your entry price, let's say 3500 And you want to do a five-time leverage. So you do like this, either one of these. You just put it up or down. So let's say you're going for a long. So liquidation price, meaning if Bitcoin's, uh, if the, um, chart over here falls below 2,970. Um, your position is going to be sold automatically and you are not um, basically whatever you have uh, times how many leverage uh, compared to your Bitcoin or whatsoever is going to be your position is going to be uh, gone. So you have to study the market properly before you do a uh, leverage or whatsoever before making big leverage. So right now as you can see the price of Bitcoin for this um, one year, I'm going to show you a chart. So as you can see, one year, the price of Bitcoin has not fall below um, 2000, uh, fall below 3000. So the liquidation price of this is quite safe for this whole year. If you put a five time leverage and for short, of course, the price of Bitcoin, uh, let's say 3500, it is Gonna fall below and you're gonna exit like maybe 3,400. You definitely mean again, but if the price of Bitcoin, um, uh, let me do it so short and after the entry price, this and the liquidation price is this. Um, let's say the entry price is this, and uh, basically, I do not know. Okay. Alright, so I, I somehow understand it already. So let's say the price of it is, uh, let's put it at 5000 And after that, if you do a short, uh, yep, this is long. Nope, short, long, short, long. So this is long, so if the price falls below 3300 3, you're going to lose all your position. If you do a short and the price, um... Alright, so because I have balance over here and after that it is making my calculation uh, mess up. So you can do your own calculation and you will see the liquidation price. So I do I did a 1000, uh, let's say a 1200. So you're going to see the value because I have this uh, value over here, $200. That's why the calculation is yeah kind of messy. So let's say you have entry price of 5000. I'm going to explain it to, get, uh, to you again. The liquidation price is going to be this amount. So if the chart over here falls below this amount your, uh, your position is gone and after that if you do a short and your entry price is this and because short is betting down against the market do it, uh, going down uh, bear market if the price of Bitcoin suddenly uh, skyrocketed or whatsoever until this amount everything you have opened in the position is basically gone simple enough to understand and after that uh, so basically this is the calculator i would suggest you using it and after that before getting into this uh bmax you should yeah understand how the calculation work and the calculation really help you out a lot 
um, if you are reading the chart or whatsoever so let's get started on really buying so if you are going to buy i would not suggest a market order because market is basically buying whatever is on the top or the bottom that people is selling of course you want to set a price to get in and after they get out so basically test uh, to test it out i would suggest like if you have a hundred dollar to spare or what just uh, put a 0.1 bitcoin or 0. 0 0.05 or something to play with it of course it's gambling so you're gonna put uh, how much you want to buy in US dollar and the price of Bitcoin. So let's say you're gonna uh, buy at this amount. So once you click on buy, it's gonna be on the order book, and after that, uh, it's gonna be shown over here at active order, meaning this this step over here is showing you the order that you have made. So for me, I have uh, bought a uh, I have a sell order over here for two hundred dollars, which is yeah, so once the price of Bitcoin reaches 3655, it's going to automatically sell away my 200 uh, position. And after that, for buy, I have already set a buy, uh, a bottom limit of 3530. If the price reaches this, uh, it's going to automatically buy my buy $100 worth of shares position, open up. And after that, from there, I can do it manually. So basically, once if you have uh, the active order has been filled or whatsoever, you will be, you need to look at this position tab over here. So you can look at the position tab and it's going to show you your current holding, your positions in BitMEX. So I have this uh, amount, $200 worth of, um, $200 worth of something like Bitcoin, um, betting on the futures position. So as you can see here, they are going to show you the entry price. So this format is very easy for you to understand and very easy to um, get in and get out, I would say. So the entry price of this is, I got in is around here. And after that, right now, the market price is this. Of course, if the entry price is this and the market price is this, please do not like sell. But you can set a limit loss um, over here. If I'm not wrong, a stop limit. Yep, so you can set the stop limit over here and I do not really know how to use it but I'm going to do a simple tutorial which is just uh, doing a limit order, a market order and after that how to get your position and sell your position uh, once your position is been filled. So from here, you can click on uh, basically once you buy an order, it's going to be shown over here and yeah. So basically once you buy an order, if you have purchased a... Uh, your order has been filled. This is going to pop up on uh, over here. The blue one is selected. This thing uh, is going to be blank. And after that, it's going to put the market uh, market price. So do not click on close at um, this market price, uh, price. Because once you close, as you can see, click to close your entire uh, XBT US dollar position at this amount of dollars. So it is going to be a loss of 4% to 3%. I would not suggest you doing that so of course you are going for long if you buy on long that means your as long as the price of bitcoin goes up you are making money if the price of bitcoin falls you do not sell if not if it's falling too much uh, and he it hit the liquidation price is going to zero and after that um once you have a position and after that you have a really have a goal of how much you want to make of course make it uh, if you want to do gains, of uh, you have to do it like uh, something reasonable within the range of whatever is here. So my uh, previous position was 3655. So you click on close and after that it is going to take from you. Sell limit close, uh, sell 200 contract of this, uh, this position at 3655 and after that limit close position. Once you hit on it, it's going to wait. So you yeah, are playing the waiting game already. So you have to wait for the price to reach this amount uh, that you have set to close. Um, is it, uh, you set to close is over here. So once it reaches this uh, price, you are it's going to execute this order by itself uh, automatically and you're going to make a profit, whichever it is. And after that, yeah, you can do Cardano, uh, Bitcoin Cash, EOS and other uh, altcoin over here. But bear in mind that, um, yep, over here, the 20x, I do not know why is it, but I know that is this contract is going to expire at the March of 29, so I have a position over here. So if my position does, doesn't get, uh, because I did a short, 
I do not know why, but I just did a shot on it. Uh, if the price falls, uh, I mean goes above this, um, compared to the Bitcoin price, uh, goes above this, I'm going to lose the whole, whole position. But if it is reaching the March of 29, it's going to close everything if I'm not wrong. And I'm going to lose the position if uh, I'm not, I have not reached the target price at. So basically, yeah, this is just a simple tutorial on BitMEX. And if you do not, if you want to use my referral link, please feel free to use it because it's going to help me out. So I'm going to tell you. Where is it? So affiliate link. So you can click on my link and after that you can, yeah, basically use my link. And after that, I'll receive a incentive from BitMEX. So as you can see over here, yeah, 10% of commission and whatsoever so uh if you use my link you also get a 10 percent uh, fee discount for six months it's a benefit for both of us it's a win-win situation so feel free to use it down below and of course in the future i'm going to going to do much more bitmax um trading uh tutorial guides review and yeah if i get in uh if i have time to learn and GoPro or maybe go even more advanced I can maybe do a tutorial about it but right now I'm still a new and yeah like a baby on this website I do not really know how to set it and trading view this and that so it is a risky thing for me to do to play short and long and leverage but if you do not want to do any leveraging you can do this cross basically if I'm not wrong cross is not using any leverage but using whatever wallet uh whatever uh available amount you have to do your leverage uh not say leveraging your long and short so if you are yeah nobody will do cross uh, unless you are being safe but of course people will try to do like uh one two three times if not five um yeah you can make insane gains out of this because you are betting on the price of bitcoin going up or down and yeah basically it's a gamble there's uh, never uh, always win gamble so always uh, remember to know how much you are able to lose and do not uh, invest your not say i will not use the term invest because it is purely gambling please do not gamble your whole life savings into whatever investment platform that you basically don't gamble all your life savings in any platform investment or whatsoever investment is a good term but actually it is called gambling so yeah Basically, it's the same as gambling, so it's your own money, decide on your own, and if you need to consult a financial advisor, feel free to, but I'm just doing a free guide for the whole world to see. So that's all for this video, hope you liked the video, and peace, happy trading too.